When we filmed Laundry Bet, I just had the microphone mounted on the camera several feet from the actors. Surprise, surprise, we got garbage audio. So now we had to replace all the dialogue in the film. Then I saw the little ADR button in Resolve and thought, this would be a great time to learn this tool, aka automated dialogue replacement, aka dubbing over lines in your film to modify lines or fix bad audio, aka the last thing you ever want to have to do. I spent a week of my life beating my head against the wall trying to figure out Resolve's ADR tools. Here's what the ADR tools do for us. While watching the scene, the actor hears and sees a countdown then Resolve records the actor saying the line. You have laundry to put up. We start on the Fairlight page. Right click the track headers and click Add Tracks. We will add two mono tracks. Name the first track ADR1 and the second Beeps. I like to color my tracks and lock the Beeps track height to micro. The Beeps track will let the actor hear the countdown. To connect the countdown to the Beeps track, find the Beeps track in the mixer, click where it says No Input, and click input. Under source, find system generator and click beeps. Make sure the beeps track is selected and click patch. To let the actor hear the beeps, go back to the mixer, click the input drop down again, and click path settings. Under record level, click through. Open the ADR panel and go to setup. Set pre-roll to four seconds, set record track to ADR one, and set record source to your microphone input. Under character setup, list your characters. We'll use them later. Enable count in to show the countdown on the video, and under beep at endpoint, turn down level as far as possible. This disables the final high pitched beep at the end of the countdown, which I find annoying. You have laundry to put up. Now go to list, which is where we'll list the lines we want to dub. In the timeline, mark where the line begins and ends using the I and O keys, then click new cue. Set the character and enter the line. To add the next cue, again find the line in the timeline, mark the in and out point. Then click new cue and add the character in line. Do this for each line you want to dub. And that's it, we're all set up. Go to record and here we can see our cues and our recordings. The rehearse button plays the countdown in line without recording. You have laundry to put up. The record button plays the countdown and records the line. You have laundry to put up. What's cool about Resolve's ADR tools is you can record multiple takes on the same spot, rate them so you can find the best ones later, and then play them back in place. In the end, we only partially used the ADR tools. So while the actors watched and listened to the countdown and cut from Resolve, the microphone was connected to an external recorder. After recording, I took the audio and edited it in manually. And it worked. Sometimes simple works.